iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron the Soul. Back today, another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me on Instagram at the King Jabez. It will be greatly appreciated, as well as my website, theironthesoul.com. Men, let's do some work. Let's talk about King Shaka Zulu. King Shaka Zulu is also a famous practitioner of SR. Here was a man who was able to really just recreate or revolutionize an entire nation. Um, the Zulu kingdom, I believe, was about one to 2,000 fighting men when he took over. And after years of war, he was able to increase that to 20,000. He was a leader for, I think, about 12 years. He passed away at a very young age, at the age of 41. Um, in terms of his physical ability, he was in good shape, of course. A muscular guy. Lean Bill probably had a six pack that's from walking all those miles, fighting and warring, and probably eating a balanced diet or a lean, you know, protein intake, whatever it was that he ate. And so he's someone who is a great example of this. And I was of interest to talk about this today. I had a dream just this week about a king who was on a throne, and he had this lion right next to him. And I was thinking, okay, what's going on here? So I started doing some research about African kings. And one of those kings, of course, is Shaka Zulu. And he was someone who also challenged his soldiers. So it wasn't just him. His soldiers, I believe, from what I read, were um, challenged or were told to, okay, um, mandatory volunteer, to be celibate for at least one year. Now, there were some men who were already married from what I read, and they were able to, of course, keep their marriage vows. But for the ones who were single, they were out of luck. They had to be single, for, single and celibate for at least 12 months. And so I'm sure in that 12 year reign of Shaka Zulu, he had some guys who probably retained several years. Now, I can't sit here and tell you that Shaka Zulu had a straight 12 year shriek, but I'm going to bet he had multiple years. Uh, he seemed to be a very um, long term retainer of someone who was consistent with that. And so it's something we can learn. This is a practice of kings. And this is a good follow up from my previous video that C retention unlocks the regal or king energy within a man. He was respected as a military genius by many people. You know, someone who accomplished a lot, like I say, was a warrior fight man, lean built, lean muscle physique, you know what I mean? And just really someone who commanded the respect of the men who were under him. He had a strong tribe. And so he was a person who was seen as and viewed as a military genius, innovative. He came up with new strategies, strategies of course. And he was often criticized, I have to say, the, the pros and cons, the good and bad, at, at times for being cruel. In fact, when his mother passed away, uh, he was a person who, I believe, had all of the pregnant women with mothers with children, as well as um, men who had wives at that time, put to death. You know, So he had some very cruel acts, and, and those who didn't mourn enough for the death of his mother were punished harshly. So he was a man at times who really did some cruel things. This seems to be something that a lot of kings struggle with. A lot of guys um, tend to become very cruel with their power. And so we've seen that with various world rulers all over the earth. I'm not going to name any more kings right now. But if you do your, your study of world history, as I did when I was in college, there were a lot of cruel men who have ruled this earth. And so I'm not here today to go into all of that, but I am here to say that there is something kingly sacred and powerful about a man holding on to a seat long term but let's get past some of you guys know i can't go 30 days that's a problem at this point now if, if you're new to my content there's one thing if you've been following me three years get past that okay it's time to grow okay at some point we have to challenge ourselves and grow and develop as men and so being a warrior having to go out there and fight every day and we all have to fight by the way we all fight whether it be at work business for you guys who are um, playing sports athletes fighting in the gym where you're trying to get to that next rep you're trying to you know get to that next level in your fitness goals as i am right now discipline yourself right i had to discipline myself to lose all this weight you guys remember i had a gut and everything back in 2020 you guys remember that i was about 215 220 i'm a lean 190 195 now this didn't come by just doing anything this came by 
I'm, I'm not bragging. I'm, I'm, I'll give you an example, lead by example. This came by discipline. You see, I had to discipline myself like this. I had to make a decision to get rid of all that sugar. You follow me? To have a high protein, low carb, low sugar diet. To have plain salmon or salmon sometimes for, for lunch or to have, you know what I mean, sardines for breakfast that don't taste good at all. Eating baked chicken when I want some fried chicken. Drinking that gallon of water supposed to have in a Coke. Those are decisions you make. And so seed retention is about disciplining yourself. And if you can discipline yourself with retention, you can discipline yourself to read. You can discipline yourself to build that business. You can discipline yourself to get in that truck and drive 10 hours every day if you need to. You can discipline yourself to build that barber business you got going on. You get my point. When you're able to discipline yourself in this area, it naturally leads to discipline in other areas. The gym, work, fitness, faith. It disciplines you. It comes to reading your Bible, spending time in prayer, meditation. You know, whatever religious background you got, you got to read the Quran. It's not my choice to tell you what to read, you, you, but you follow what I'm saying here. It helps you to get in tune with your spiritual character. And it helps you, as we see with Shaka Zulu and his warriors, to tap into that aggression as well as anger. That's not always a bad thing, guys. I've told you guys this before. When you're on retention for two, three, four, five, six months, that anger and rage and aggression is going to come out. And that aggression and rage is the your spirit and God's way of pulling you towards action, right? When you have not been proactive enough in, in whatever it is you're trying to achieve, this journey kind of pulls you toward your goals. And I've read many NoFap journals. A lot of guys talk about on their journey how they manifest. Why do they manifest? Because that energy will not let you stay passive. Kind of like you got some caffeine, some coffee. It gives you a boost. It gives you a little bit of that caffeine. This is retention does. It gives you that, that boost, that pull towards action. Because to retain and do nothing is just a waste of time. And some of you guys, you're too passive. It's time to get proactive. Get in the game. Go for that promotion at work. You know, you got a young lady you're, in, you're interested in? Go for it. Ask her out for a date. Be a man. Grow a pair of balls. That's, this is what retention does. It, it, again, it, you can't say you got regal energy in you. And you're afraid to ask the girl out you want to go off on a date with. I'm going to just come right at you. You're afraid to go for their promotion and work. You're afraid to start the new business. You're afraid to go to the gym because you don't know what you're doing. Stop making excuses. Get proactive. Get, get aggressive. I'm going to say it. Get aggressive. Okay? Get aggressive about your life. This is your life. And, and time waits for no one. You only got one life, my boy. And it's up to you to get proactive, to utilize your time wisely, no one's going to make you do this. Ain't nobody going to ask you to do this. No one's going to ask you if you're in the, you've been at the gym four or five times this week. No one's going to ask you how you've been, how, how's your reading going? How is your prayer life? Are you connected to God? How is your dating life? Are you going out with that girl? Are you making the decision to talk to her and have an interesting conversation? Right? All of that is a part of this journey. So if you, are, if you are on SR and you're not making moves, what are you doing? But I, I mean, you know what? I'm going to take that back. That's impossible. If you are on SR for 60 to 120 days, six months to, to one year to two years, something's going to change. Because if nothing changes, it's only a matter of time before you relapse. But if you are holding on to your essence and energy, that energy is going to pull you towards something. Right, mark my word. It's going to pull you towards something. And I'm going to say also, you will run into walls on this journey too. That's not said enough in your community. Every day won't be roses, guys. You're going to run into some spiritual walls when things seem to be like a drought. And some of you are going through that right now, just like in war. I'm sure sometimes Shaka Zulu and his men went through periods of droughts when things were not working the way they wanted to work out. That's a part of war. That's a part of life under the sun. So when those droughts come, retention can give you the mental um, fortitude, strength you need to endure, to stay strong when things are not going your way. Because I'm telling you, sometimes in life, things will not go your way. You follow me? And you have to be strong enough to stay um, what's the proper word in this particular context to stay thorough, just like Nipsey said, to stay thorough and to stay 10 toes down until you get the breakthrough, the victory, the woman, the job, the physique, the, um, spiritual growth, the connection to the most high Yah that you need and that you want. And so this will help you. I hate to be generic. Stay down till you come up.
You hear me? This will help you stay down till you come up. That should be your philosophy with this. I'm doing this until something changes. People say, how long should I retain until something changes? <laughs> that should be your mindset. Until I get where I want to be, I'm going to stay down on this journey. I'm going to hold on to my seed, my masculine energy, that regal energy, that king energy that God has given me as a, as a king. You feel me? And, and I'm going to hold on to that until I get to the next level Whatever the next level may be for you. So this is just a word of wisdom for you guys on this on this Wednesday. Thanks for listening, guys. This is your big brother, Iron of Soul. Stay strong out here, man. God bless. Peace.